Hey guys, Joey66 coming at you with a little bit of Dodge Challenger news. All right, guys, I don't know if you heard the news or not. I think it's been around quite a bit on the internet the last few days or a couple days. Um, Mopar Dodge FCA is putting out a 10th anniversary of the Challenger uh, with a little special edition. It's kind of cool, kind of cool news. They're, you know, they've been doing a lot of cool stuff with the cars. Um, they're, you know, they're not coming out with the brand new one yet, of course. So they've been doing kind of a lot of other things to keep the car interesting. And uh, they've, they've succeeded at that because, as we've talked about before, the sales are actually uh, ser staying fairly strong and they're still beating Camaro. So uh, losing to Mustang, of course, in the sales race, but beating Camaro. So anyway, Dodge is going to uh, put out about 100 cars, I guess exactly 100 cars, in this uh, special edition Challenger. Um, it's going to come in just two colors, black or white. And it's going to have these stripes. I'll show you some of the pictures up here on the screen. Hopefully uh, i get some of these pictures up there for you guys to check out. Uh, I think it's a pretty good looking car and uh, you know I like the fact they're doing a couple special editions for this thing it's kind of nice that they do that they, like I said they keep the car interesting um, what do you guys think you think it's a pretty cool idea uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, I think it's a scat pack model only that this comes in so it's basically a scat pack special edition uh, black or white you get the stripes and you get a few other things um, they all come with the shaker hood apparently from what I understand from what I've been reading it, uh, they're all shaker hoods and uh, you know the shaker is pretty cool. I almost got that when I bought this car, but uh, just kind of decided against it. I don't know why. We decided to order a brand new one, and that's kind of when the shaker idea went out. We almost bought a black um, 2019 or 18 uh, Scat Pack shaker. There was one available within a couple hundred miles of where we bought this one when we ordered this one, and that dealership was willing to uh, get that car for us and bring it in. Um, we thought about it and decided against it. Decided we wanted to order an Octane Red. Uh, it's got back like I own right now. I'm very happy about that. But anyway, back to the shaker thing. This thing comes with the shaker, comes with the stripes. Again, only in black and white, which is kind of cool, I think. And, and I, I kind of like it. I think it looks really good. I like those stripes. I think they look fantastic, personally. I think they look pretty good. If someone described them to me, I'd probably think, I don't know. But when I actually look at it, I, I really do like the pictures a lot. A couple of the other things, apparently, that come with this are you get strut tower braces. And I don't know if that's front and back or just front, but uh, it does come with the Mopar. Um, strut tower brace which is pretty cool uh, I've been wanting to get one of those for this car and I'd like to do the back too in the front but uh, we shall see on that they're a little bit pricey so uh, there's some other things I don't know there's a few other things I want to do so we've got to decide what to do next but uh, we'll figure that out but yeah it comes with a strut tower brace I don't I assume just front but maybe front and back I'm not sure about that and also it comes with the cold air intake Mopar cold air intake for the car so pretty cool um, pretty nice little package something to uh, you know maybe draw a little more interest to the car, maybe sell a few cars and not just the, um, every time they do a special edition car, it sells a few cars and it'll also get people on the lot to check it out and they may buy something else. So that's the whole purpose of these things and they like doing that and I think it's pretty cool. I think it looks pretty good. I really like it. So like I said, this is, uh, they are Scat Pack models um, from what I understand. Um, you can get it in the six speed or of course the eight speed automatic, either one, just like a regular Scat Pack. So you have your choice of transmissions. And, uh, of course, if uh, you uh, get the manual, you have to pay, I think it's a $1,000 gas guzzler tax. And if you get the automatic, you don't have to pay the gas guzzler tax. But, of course, the automatic is about $1,200 more, I think. Maybe more. Someone may correct me on that. It's about, I think it's about $1,200 more for the automatic. So either way, you're going to pay extra, but uh, that's okay. So you have those two choices, which is cool. So apparently, you'll be able to start ordering this car in September, which is a couple days from now. I'm recording this right now. It's uh, the very end of... Um, August of 2019 so yes we are uh, just around the corner from being able to a couple days away from being able to order one of these if anybody was interested and I think it's pretty cool I think they said it's gonna start at about forty five thousand dollars or forty six thousand dollars somewhere between there I think forty five something um, which is I guess maybe a little bit above normal scat pack price but uh, uh, pretty cool special edition and it might be something to, to have or collect or uh, you don't know and apparently this will come with some special documentation where you will get um, the build date on this documentation and you will also get uh, the number, so 1 through 100, depending on which car you have, one of these 100 cars. So that would be really nice to have. That would be pretty cool. And uh, somewhere down the road, you know, 30, 40 years from now, that's going to be an important document for these cars. So if these cars end up being something, you know, and I think they probably will, who knows where cars are going to go in the next 30 or 40 years or whatever. But... Uh, that would be something cool to have if you bought one of these and have that little document with the number that it was and all that stuff. It'd be kind of cool. So, yeah, what do you guys think? I think it's pretty cool. I'm happy to see uh, FCA and Mopar and all that stuff just kind of 
kind of keeping the car fresh and keeping it uh, keeping something going on with it, even though it's an old, uh, it's definitely an old design. It's been hanging around a long time, but you know what? I said it a million times. Uh, if it's not broke, don't fix it. It's selling. It's a cool car. It's a popular car. People really love the car. So, uh, and I've we've talked about this a lot, like in the live streams and stuff that I do on Sunday nights, which you should be there, by the way. Um, we talk about a lot on there about how, uh, you know, yeah, don't. It's not broke, so don't fix it. It's also uh, if you're if you're FCA Dodge or Mopar or you're designing a new car, you got to be really careful because people really like this car. It's a good looking car. People really enjoy the car, and. Uh, you know, if you were to do something like Chevy did with the Camaro, where it kind of comes out and everybody's like, ew, it looks terrible, they don't like it, and then suddenly you go from uh, having good sales and beating Camaro to maybe having a big drop-off in sales if you were to design something that uh, the public didn't like as much as the current model. And when there's a car like this that people really, really like, I'm sure it's got to be a little bit intimidating for designers to, to try to improve on it or to try to make it look a little bit cooler. Because, you know, no matter what it looks like, a certain, certain amount of people are going to not like it no matter what and then it'll grow on some of those people over time. That happens to me a lot. Sometimes I'll see a new design and I won't really care for it too much at first, but the more I see it, the more I like it, and then I'll start to really like it, but we shall see. But yeah, we just like to talk about that. Uh, someday they're gonna come out with a new Challenger. We don't know when, but one of these years, and uh, the dates change all the time. Every time you hear the rumor, it's something different, but that's all right, because uh, like I said, they're keeping the car fresh. Any guys, anyway, guys, what do you think? Tell, tell me what you think down below, comment, and uh, what do you think of the special edition? I think it's pretty cool. I think it looks good. Uh, uh, I've been looking at a few pictures online. I, th I really do think it looks good. And uh, not that I'm going to go buy one. I'm pretty happy with this car right now. If I were to buy another Challenger, it would most likely be try to move up to a Hellcat. And uh, we shall see. Or maybe a wide body scat pack. I'm kind of in love with those two right now. So we shall see. We may do something. We'll let you guys know. Of course, uh, you'll know about, you'll know all about it if it happens. Because you guys will probably know it before my friends do. So Because you guys are my friends too. But, you know, hey. Uh, yeah, I don't... Uh, you guys find out everything I do before anybody else really knows, so that's okay. But I really like sharing everything in my life and my car and all that stuff with you guys. It's a lot of fun. I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, you guys, I got the best viewers around, and you guys really support the channel. You guys come into the live streams and all that. I really, really appreciate that. Anyways, guys, uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And then hit that little bell notification, too, so you know when all my new videos come out. And it is Friday, and the weekend is here, Labor Day weekend. So uh, hopefully I'll get out a few videos for you guys, and I will be seeing you Sunday night in the live stream. I don't know how well to do that it's uh, Labor Day weekend. I'm not sure if we'll have a big crowd or not, but show up uh, about 7.45 Central Time, because that's where I live in Central Time. So 7.45, live stream, Joy 66, and uh, let's get out of here, and uh, I'll show you a few things about the car here, pictures or video or something, and uh, we'll be rocking out of here. Like I said, comment down below. What do you think of this uh, new little uh, collector edition, or whatever you call it, uh, anniversary edition, special edition? I think it's pretty cool. I'm happy with it. So apparently you'll be able to order these in uh, September, which is just a couple days from now. This is being recorded at the very end of August. Of end of All right, guys, you may have heard the news, or maybe you haven't. Uh, the uh, FCA Dodge, of course, Mopar, is coming out with a hundred... Uh... So anyway, Dodge is going to... Uh... Okay, guys, so it... <laughs>